joining me today for this full body strength workout. This is going to be a superset workout. So we're going to be focusing on one muscle group at a time for two exercises back to back. So you are going to get that great strength training workout today. This is more of an upper body focus. So you're going to be feeling your upper body a little bit more than that lower body today, but you will be getting it all. You're going to need some medium, medium to heavy dumbbells, a bench if you have it, you don't need it, I'll be on the floor today, and then a max if you want it. Let's get warm and we'll get right into our first superset. All right, take those feet under the hips, give me a big breath in, and open those elbows nice and wide, and drop in, and out, big inhale, and out. Big stretch in those arms, elbows come all the way to that rib cage. Give you two more. And one. Take those feet a little bit wider, hands behind the head. We're gonna hinge and stand tall. A nice good morning. So your back is flat. Weight in the heels, big hinge and squeeze the booty. Constant tension in the back of those legs. Back and lift. Give me a couple more here. All right, this time stay hinged over, drop those arms, palms together, up and down. Squeeze at the top. And take those arms up by those ears, up and drop. Nice big reach. Your gaze is on the floor. Good, now let's alternate. One to the side, one to the front. One to the side. One to the front for four, three, two, and one. Stand tall, flop those arms in and out. Woo. All right, let's go to some big circles. Opening up those shoulders, lifting them up other way. Big arm circles, working on a little mobility here. All right, take those arms out straight to the side. Little baby circles, dropping those shoulders away from the ears. And other way. Good. Let's go forward one more time. And back one more time. All right. Drop those arms. Take those feet under the hips. Let's go into a squat. Drop and lift. Drop and lift. Weight in those heels. Nice, easy squat. Chest is up. Working on that nice, big range of motion. So if you need to slow it down to get all the way down and up, that's fine. Four. Three. Two, and one. Take it to the back of your space. We're gonna walk it out to a plank. Hold that plank, tap those shoulders. Option, weight in the knees. Drop it to the knees. Four, three, two, and one. Walk those hands back in to a nice, low squat. Opening up those knees, dropping that booty as far as you can. Wiggling back and forth a little bit here, opening up those hips. Drop one arm, the other arm extended, and switch. Nice rotation in your spine. Drop and lift. Let's go one more each way. Ooh, that feels good. Back to that right arm. Give me some big circles. And switch it, big circles. And back center, elbows pushing those knees out. Let's stand all the way up. Give me some hand curls. Heel to that booty. Big breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. In and out. For four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, get a little drink. Let's talk about our supersets. This first set, we're focusing on the biceps. You have 40 seconds of work at your own pace, 15 seconds to rest in between. Your first two rounds look like that. Your third round is 30 seconds. So we're treating that as our burnout round. We wanna get to muscle failure. So we're gonna lift heavy. Zotman curl, palms forward. At the top we rotate, palms down. So we're switching that direction at the top. Move two, we have a lunge on one side, lunge, regular bicep curl, palms forward here. 
Second round through, we'll go to that left leg. So grab those dumbbells that you want. I'd say like a medium, medium to heavy, 40 seconds at your pace. So if you're going heavy, it's okay if you're a little bit slower. Let's go, biceps. We're gonna go in three, two, and one. Palms up, rotate, nice and slow on the way down. Nice, stable base. Good, all the way up. Not using any momentum today, so we don't want to use those legs to get those biceps up. Elbows tucked in to get those biceps up, to get your dumbbells up. And slow on the way down. Woo! We gotta control that downward motion. Give me a couple more. This time's gonna move quick. One more in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, keep those dumbbells. We're gonna go to that right lunge with that curl. In three, two, and one. Drop and curl. Now we're gonna change up this bicep curl every round. So on this lunge and curl, this first time through, we're in that standard curl. Palms are forward. Drop, curl at the top. So I want you to wait till you're at the top of that lunge for that curl. Normally, we if we do this combo move, we're curling at the bottom of the lunge. Not today. Mixing it up a little bit. Four, three, two. Ah, shake it out. Shake it out. Supersets are tough because it's back to back work. Back to back. Okay, number two. We're gonna go back to that zombie curl up and rotate. Okay, pick it up in three, two, and one. Here we go up and that slow rotation and drop up. So again, we want that nice stable base. Make sure you're not bending those knees too much. I think even without realizing it, sometimes just like I just did, we use those legs. Okay, so we want to take those legs out. Just isolate that bicep. If you are unable to get that full rep without using your legs, that's when I want you to either single out those arms, go right arm, then left arm, or we drop those weights. For four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, if you want to shake out that grip, you can. We are now going to do a lunge with a hammer curl, okay? So we're changing that hand position, palms come inward in three, two, and one. Lunge and hammer curl. Staying just on that left side in the lunge and then curling at the top. This is your last time at 40 seconds. So the third time through this superset is only 30 seconds. That's when we burn it out. Good. Drop all the way up, all the way down. Then drop into that lunge. Weight stays in that front heel. We have time for two more. Two more. Last one, best one. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right. So like I said, this is our burnout round. I want you to get to muscle failure. That's where we see that growth and that increased strength, okay? Zotman Pro for the last time, 30 seconds of work. Quick little shake, pick it up. That was our break. We are going in five, three, two, and one. All the way up, rotate and down. Now, if you feel like, ah, I can do 30 seconds easy, then pick up something a little heavier for this last 30 second push. Switch all the way up. And down, beautiful. Come on, finish off these biceps. You're only working each muscle group once in each superset. So after this one, you're done with biceps. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, we're gonna go alternating lunge with an alternating hammer curl. So we're coming right, and then we'll go left. Here we go. Drop, right, drop. Left, right leg, right arm, left leg, left arm. Come on, we're speeding it up a little bit here. We want to 
Almost did that same leg. Not today. We gotta make that brain work too. We gotta exercise our brain. Five, four, three, two, and set it down. Nice job, get a drink. Whew. We're going, our next superset is shoulders. Right into it, quick shake. We have a side raise, okay? Up slow, down slow. We have an alternating stack for move two, so little legs coming in move two. Drop it into a squat, snatch it up, and then we switch, okay? Here we go in three, two, and one. Give me that side raise. Up, down slow. Now, the further the dumbbell is away from your body, the heavier it's going to feel. So, you can adjust accordingly. If you can't get that rep, you can bend those elbows a little bit more, okay? If you're not feeling it, straighten out those arms a little heavier. You're about halfway through. Oh, I'm already feeling these shoulders. I sure am. Woo! Up slow, down slow for five, four, three, two, and one. Set one dumbbell aside, one dumbbell right in between our legs. We're squatting, snatching, using the legs to get that arm up. Here we go. Drop, and switch at the bottom. We're keeping that dumbbell in close to the body on that snatch. Drop, switch. The booty is low. You're in a low squat position. I don't want to see your booty up. Okay, we're dropping low. Use those legs. Now's the time to get that leg in. 10 seconds. Power up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, quick little shake. We're gonna do all that one more time at 40 seconds. All right, we're gonna do some tins, tins a bit lighter. I just made up that word. Here we go, side raise. Up and down. Now when do I decide to go lighter? I go lighter when I notice, A, my form isn't as good as it was, or I'm dropping those weights too fast. I wanna keep that time under tension, okay? I wanna keep that control on the way down. Option, here's a great option. You can go to those single arms. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, quick little shake, quick little wipe down, because if you know, you know. We are onto that squat, that snatch, alternating in three, two, and one. Drop the booty. Drop the booty, leading with the elbow, and then power that dumbbell overhead. Good. Powering through those legs. You are halfway. Get that booty down, keep that chest up, come on. Heart rate's gonna come up on this one. It's a big explosive movement. Fight for it, fight for it. Yes, you can. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Oh, enchilada. I want it enchilada, that sounds delicious. Here we go. Squat snatch, three, two, and drop. Leading with the elbow, pop that dumbbell up at the top. Dumbbell stays close to the body. Core is tight, back is flat. That core is your powerhouse. 10. Quick switch. Come on, quick switch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hey, we did it. Super set to grab a drink. All right, we're going right into our back super set. We have a bent over row, palms facing in. Move two, you're on your mat with one heavy dumbbell on your back. Let's go. Pick up two medium to heavies. Hinge over, here we go. Rowing up and down. Leaning with those elbows. Hold, drop slow. Up and down, just a nice bent over row right here. We're giving a little half Second hold at the top. Squeeze and drop shoulders away from the ears. Dumbbells leading up towards those hip bones. Elbows are straight back. 10. Woo! Here we go. Five, three, two, and one. My back is sore and I was feeling that one. That's for sure. All right, quickly come to the floor. We're gonna hold the ends of your dumbbell. Our booty is holding up. We're dropping and pulling. Pull over. And we're on. Drop and squeeze. Down slow, up slow. So we're keeping the weight in our heels. Our booty is off the floor. If you want, you can drop and lift that booty with your arms. Or you can just hold at the top. Keep those elbows tucked in, drop, squeeze. Squeezing those shoulder blades down and back. Constant tension on your back. It is our back superset after all. And you are done. Set that dumbbell down, come on up. All right, quick little rotation if you need it. Whew. Pick it up, we're going back to your bent over row. This is your last time at 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Up and hold, down slow. So here's your tempo. Up, hold, hold, and down. Up, up, hold, and down. Up, hold, and down. So we're really at the bottom, and we're coming right back up. So we're not hanging those arms at the bottom. Constant, constant work on those back muscles. 10 seconds. Up and hold. Come on. Yes, you can. Six, five. Oh, that's heavy. Three, two, and one. Oh, sometimes those dumbbells feel not heavy. And then towards the end of your set, it feels just like the heaviest, heaviest dumbbell in the world. All right, come on down. Grab that dumbbell by the end. Booty off the floor. Here we go. Dropping and lifting. If you want the booty, it's coming with the arms. So they both go down and they both come up. Shoulder blades down and back. Drop and squeeze. Get that dumbbell all the way to the floor. Think about stretching out that big back muscle. Breathing in. Breathing out. We're breathing out on the hardest part of the exercise. Three, two, and one. Set that dumbbell down. Come on up. All right, friends. We are already to that 30 second burnout round. Okay, we're gonna be done with back. So, think about it. Can you go heavier for the 30 second rows? Can you go heavier for that back pullover? If you can, Grab those heavier weights. We want to get to that muscle failure right here. 
All right, pick it up. We're going in three, two, and one. Up and hold, down slow. Do not speed through this one. So I'm not speeding. And drop. You're in charge of those dumbbells. They're not in charge of you. Up and hold, and down. You're already more than halfway. You're already more than halfway. Fight through it. And if you're just repping these out, friend, you can go heavier. Five, four, this should be hard. If it's not hard, you need to adjust that range of motion, your tempo, or your weight. All right, here we go. In three, two, and one. Drop and lift. Elbows are tucked in, shoulder blades are down and back. Dumbbell all the way to the floor. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Beautiful for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Shake it out. Stretch that back. All right. I'm going to stay right here to show you our next movement. I'm going to go a little bit lighter. We're going to go to our tricep super set. You have a narrow press with a skull crusher back down. Press, skull crusher, and down. So those dumbbells come right by your ears. Move two. We're coming to standing. Arms come overhead. We're going to lift one knee at a time. We're lifting and holding, dropping. Lifting a knee with the hand and drop. So a lot of core work, we're getting to those hip flexors. That inner core is gonna be nice. All right, come to the floor, narrow press, skull pressure, and then we're gonna stand up quickly for that second move. All right, we're gonna go in three, two, and one, elbows up. Drop to that skull crusher, back down. Push. Skull crusher and drop. Elbows stay nice and tight. Dumbbells come right by those ears. Feeling that nice stretch in that tricep muscle. And then extending up. Drop it, extend, and down. Lower back on that floor, keeping the rest of the body nice and stable. We're going in five, four, three, Two and one. Oh, I like that one. That looks nice. All right, come on up. We have one dumbbell, so we're gonna go a little heavier as the dumbbell comes up. So does the knee. Drop and lift. Hold on. Yeah, there it is. Drop and lift. Took me a second. We're there. Oh my goodness. We're 10 seconds in and I'm already feeling like my triceps are crying. Man, the tricep superset. That is it. That is it. Breathe out as that knee drives up. Okay, we got 10 seconds. Here we go. All the way up and hold and drop. Oh, we can do it. Come on. Five, four, ouch, three, two. Okay, that was a burner. That, that one I definitely felt. Come on down to the floor. Round two, press and drop it. Here we go, in three, two, lower back to the floor. Push, drop, and down. Now, if you don't like the two dumbbells, you maybe feel like your control isn't there. You can use one dumbbell, it's the same movement. Pressing, drop right above that forehead, and down. Push, drop. And down. Same movement. We have 15 seconds. Take it one at a time. Oh my goodness. We should have done triceps first. We should have just got this one over with. Drop dead. Three, two, and one. Holy bananas. That was nice. Okay. Definitely shake out those arms. Shake out those arms. All right. Grab that dumbbell. Woo! Here we go. Dropping, lift and hold. Drop and hold. 
I want you to breathe out as that knee comes up. Driving that belly button inwards. Oh my goodness, we're halfway. Oh, my triceps. Oh my goodness. How are you doing? I'm crying. Out. And it's okay, we can do hard things. Come on. Come on, 10. Yes, you can. I'm doing it. You're doing it. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Wow. Okay. All right. We made it though. We're to our last round. So it's our 30 second burnout round, okay? So we're dropping the time by 10 seconds. We got this. Pound out those triceps a little bit. Woo! They're gonna be sore tomorrow. I can already tell. All right. Get it ready. Set it up. Lower back to the floor. Three, two, and one. Push, drop, extend, and down. I'm going to one number. Woo! Up and drop. Keeping those elbows tucked in. So if your elbows are starting to flare out like mine were, that's when you want to lower that weight. Lower it or go to that single dumbbell. Here we go, here we go. Come on, up and drop. We can do one more. All right, come on up, that's it. We're done with that one. We're done. Stand on up, we're going in three, two, and one. Drop and lift. Drop, these first couple never feel that bad. And then all of a sudden, about now, your arms just feel like they're gonna fall off. Okay, halfway, come on. In and out. Oh, eight seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, shake it out, please. Shake it out. Okay, we have our last super set, you guys. So you tell me, which upper body muscle have we not focused on yet? Your chest. Your chest. We're actually going to be standing. We're going to be standing for this super set. We have a standing, alternating chest press, but we're going to change it up. So we have a cross body fly. Sorry, not a cross. A standing chest fly. We're going to alternate across, and then we're going to come straight forward into a scoop. Okay? So cross, cross, scoop, scoop, and move to, we're going to drop to one dumbbell. You have one deadlift, pop it, halo it over that body, so a big circle, pressing into the ends of that dumbbell. Okay, last round. Here we go. Grab that other dumbbell, cross, cross, straight, straight. Here we go. Across the body, towards the opposite shoulder. Then we're scooping straight forward, down to the hip. So that hip is kind of your home base for this exercise. You're always coming back to the hip bone. Slight bend in those elbows. Palms are open. So you're gonna be feeling your shoulders here for sure. But we're using that chest muscle with that shoulder to get those dumbbells up. And then your core, it's there to stabilize and everything. So keep that core nice and tight for three, two, and one. All right, I'm gonna go heavier because we're holding one dumbbell for that deadlift. The deadlift to the halo. Holding one dumbbell at the end, shoulders down and back, feet under those hips. We're hinging down right now. Deadlift, pop it, big circle again. Deadlift, pop. Deadlift, pop. Big circle. We're using those upper abs to get that dumbbell around. We're pushing in to the ends of that dumbbell with our chest. Pop it, circle. Ooh, I like this one. Last one. Drop, squeeze, three. Two, we can do one more deadlift. Oh, who doesn't love a deadlift? I do. All right, set it down. Set it down. Quick little shake. 
Open and close those arms. All right, pick it up. We have our standing chest leg cross, cross, straight, straight. Here we go. Cross. And straight forward. Remember that hip bone is our home base. Beautiful. Keep those shoulders down. We want that nice, good posture. Lots of core work. You don't have to do sit-ups to work that core, right? I told you that a lot. Working that core right here. Keeping that body stable. Three, two, and one. That was our last time of 40 seconds, friends. Now this deadlift halo is your last exercise, period, at 40 seconds. So let's make it good, yeah? Feet up to those hips. A nice, big, beautiful deadlift. Circle around the head. Here we go. Drop. Deadlift. Pull. Pushing into the ends of that dumbbell on that halo. We're getting a little bit of everything on this last exercise. We've got the legs working. We've got the upper body working. And we've got your core working. Nice full body exercise to finish this super set workout. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, set it down. I want to keep it moving step side to side. We have our last super set right here. Your last round, okay? This is our last super set. I don't want to scare you. So our last time, 30 seconds of your standing chest slide, 30 seconds of your deadlift table, and you are done today. All right, let's pick up those weights. Let's finish it. In three, two, cross that body. Up and down, up and down, straight forward. Keep that nice stable base. Bend in the knee, core tight. Cross to the opposite shoulder. Breathing in and out. In and out. Nice job, you guys. Come on. Just because it's the end of the workout doesn't mean we can take it easy, right? We're going to finish like we started. We're finishing strong. Three, two, and one. All right. Grab that heavy dumbbell. Then lift and halo in three, two, and one. Drop around that head. Good. Drop. I'll let you speed it up a little on this last round. Why not? Why not? Let's get those reps in. As long as they're good reps, get them in. Keep that core tight. Come on. Big circle. Five. Four, three, two, and one. You did it. A round of applause. Good job, you guys. Woo! Shake those arms out. So, that was full body strength supersets today. A heavy, heavy emphasis on those arms. So, let's take one wrist behind and open up that chest. Feel a stretch in the front of that shoulder. Drop that here to the opposite shoulder. All right, grab one wrist. Open up that upper back. And arms all the way up and over to the right. Thank you for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Any questions, comments, or requests, let me know. And I hope to see all of you next time. Pull those elbows down and back. Thank you for being here and taking time for you today. Catch your balance. Grab one foot. Let's stretch out that quad. Whew. Not too bad on those legs today. Not too bad. But those arms, they're going to be talking to you tomorrow. All right. Take those feet wide. Let's take one big breath in. And out. Last one. Big breath in. And let everything out. That is it for your full body superset workout. Again, thank you for being here and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.